you, you know, you talked about how you talked to players. Obviously, you talked to Donovan Mitchell directly after a game the other night and kind of gave him a piece of your mind. How do you use that? And what's going on with you and Donovan, by the way? I'm sure I'm curious to hear you, if you guys have talked after that. You didn't see what I did? I saw you, what you, you did. Exactly. So did it work last time I did it when I was in L.A.? I was there for it. Yes, I remember Thank well. You. Okay, so so as a leader, sometimes you got <clears> to <throat> ruffle some feathers. See, a lot of people think it's personal with me. It's never personal with me. i got too much going on to make it personal. But, hey, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're paid to be objective. And it's my opinion that he wasn't at that level. But he's playing at that level now. So you're welcome. You know, this is what you do as a locker room leader. This is what you do as, as a leader. You you know, you see who you can talk to a certain way. Phil would always talk to us like that, but he couldn't talk to all the guys like that. So I really didn't know Donovan. So uh, I probably could have worded it, uh, you know, uh, worded it a little different, but I was just testing out, you know, to see what he was. But I, we have we have mutual friends, so I know who he is. I know about his character. I know he's a tough kid, so... I knew he would be able to take it. And he's playing well, and Utah's playing well, and I wish him very well. But again, I know what I'm doing. You may not know what I'm doing, but I always know what I'm doing. Yes, I'm well aware. And you're right. That is how Phil Jackson worked. He wanted his leaders on the team to communicate with the other guys on the team. I think that's one of the reasons why he and Kobe had that bristly relationship at times, because Kobe wanted to be the leader on the team. You were the leader on the team. And I do know and I do remember when you did use the media because oftentimes it would be with, in an interview with me and we would talk about Kobe and you would try to get your point across. And it was yeah, difficult. And it would get him so mad that he'd come in the next game and have a fabulous game. So my plan always works. They, 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 they don't call me Dr. Shaq Vago for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mad scientist, Susie. I'm a mad scientist. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.